what level of objectivity do you guys feel exists in the art world? I think that's a good way just to figure out where everybody stands on that or whatnot. Because I don't think that's, there's a very clear one answer, but I know I definitely have what my take is. I think that there's a lot of objectivity that can exist. Um, it's hard because there's kind of like different reasons that things exist, right? Like, for example, if you are making a movie, an objective in, in one lens, an objective rate of that movie's success and its merit is how much money it makes, right? It's If it makes a lot of money, like that movie is kind of objectively good in the sense that a lot of people paid to see it. They liked enough to enjoy it. They might have told their friends about it, right? Um, but then, of course, there's a lot of movies that make a lot of money that are really awful. Uh, hmm. And I think that, so that's kind of like one lens that I have, right? Is like business lens, let people vote with their wallets, kind of like, if people like it, then there's merit to that, right? Which I do believe. Like, even if I watch something and it's awful or it, you know, is not as high quality as other things, like if people enjoy it, that's a great project. Like that, that yeah. has merit. There's something to be said mm -hmm. about people enjoying something, even if it is bad. And that's yeah, for sure. Exactly. Enjoyment is um, still enjoyment. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, and then kind of like a middle lens I would have is, uh, kind of like a more critical academic look right like you have people who watch a lot of movies who love dissecting movies who love listening to music whatever right and and pulling as much as they can from that and those people are going to have other insights uh just because of the mass amount that they're digesting right and i think that's whatever we get into stuff like you know an objectively good movie plot is going to have you know the three act structure it's going to have these things you know joseph campbell's uh you know uh mythology they i forget what it's called <laughs> i'm blanking on the name no, of the book, i have no but, idea um, what you're talking about <laughs> oh the well the hero's journey right like there's 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 i mean all the way going back to like you know plato and aristotle like there's just hundreds and thousands of years of people looking at how we tell stories looking at the best stories and identifying patterns to most effective communicate stuff and so like that is another way that you can look at things and be like this is objectively good because good stories and the way that human beings interact with stories follows this pattern. And then of course you have, uh, in my kind of last lens is more of the like passion projects, right? This might be something that it might have a following. It might not, but it's like, this is something that someone made because they're like, look, I want to make this. And it could be very weird. It could be insanely experimental. Uh, it could be something that off puts people or that they don't enjoy, but that's where we get into more of like the subjectivity, right? And where that kind of stuff can shine, where it's like, if you're not making it to make money or if you're not making it to be a hit with the critics and you're making it to express something or to say something, then there is something good there. And that's where a lot of kind of subjectivity can kind of come in. So those are kind of my three lenses, like very corporate money, -y, you know, kind of academic critical thinky, -y, and then, uh, you know, more expressive, I guess, or kind of the and they go and, they go down in objectivity <laughs> right and, and do you feel like you p draw from all three of those when you're critically looking at something like do those all play a pretty big factor or would you say you kind of go back and forth between them well i, I are you talking about as far as like me creating or me digesting uh like, let's do both yeah let's let's hear both of them i wish i was in a position to financially rate my projects <laughs> but, <I'm, laughs> but i'm definitely not and so it's hard for me to be like I know this thing is a fine is a success if it's financially success successful because I'm just not at that level yet. Um, I do think that there's for me I make a lot of this stuff because I want to make it and I really enjoy it. Like and I can recognize right like especially as an audio engineer, someone who has you know studied a lot of this stuff, I can be like, yeah, looking back on it, like this was not the cleanest thing I've done. This was not like the best thing that I've done, but I still really enjoyed it. I'm glad I made it. There's still a lot of merit to that. So I'm I'm definitely like you know, in those last two, like I can look at my stuff in kind of a critical thing or, uh, you know, as a more subjective thing. And then as far as me digesting, I, I'm very much in that same camp as well. You know, it's like, there's some stuff that I know is awful, but I still enjoy it. Like Shark Tank, Australia. Love it. <laughs> even though I know like that's pretty objectively bad. Um, and then there's other things like, uh, you know, and then there's some things that I can't appreciate because, of their financial success, right? So even though I might not identify it with, with it, I understand that other people like it and I can respect it for that place it holds in other people's you know, lives, even though I, I don't enjoy it. Like Big Bang Theory is one of those things for me. It's like, I can look at that and I can say, I think this is a pretty terrible TV show, but I also know mm -hmm. a lot of people who really enjoy watching it, who get a lot of joy from it. And so for me, it's like, there's definitely there's, merit. There's, there's things to appreciate right. for sure. Yeah. yeah. 
that's that's my uh my little essay hey there you just watched a clip from my creative podcast if you'd like to check out the full episode you can support me over on patreon and if not you can subscribe to check out more clips coming here soon